breaking news right now out of SeaTac, a large fire burning just north of the airport. You can see here in this photo from a viewer smoke towering over the runway. King 5's Madison Way just got to the scene. Madison, what do we know so far? Well, Jessica and Steve, right now there is a large fire presence here with fire officials working this fire behind me in this uh, parking lot area. You can see a ladder truck is up right now. This is SeaTac fire, which is on scene. We want to be very clear that this is not happening at SeaTac Airport tonight. It's happening just north of SeaTac, not anywhere close to the airport vicinity. We are on 146th Street right now. You can see that firefighters have that ladder truck. They're taking an aerial view from above just to see what is burning below. Many fire trucks are here. We're seeing other firefighters as well responding to the area. We don't see any active flames burning, but of course, this is what it looked like earlier today and this evening, causing a lot of alarm for people who were taking off from SeaTac and you can probably hear the planes above us. We are right in the flight, flight path for SeaTac and the air airplanes taking off from the airport tonight. So a lot of people saw the smoke and were very concerned over what was happening here. This fire is continuing to burn. We're seeing more smoke from the fire as well. And firefighters have that ladder truck up right now. They're taking a look from above to see what exactly they're dealing with. We're also working to confirm exactly where this fire is burning. We see Enterprise Hold behind us. We also know a Boeing distribution center is also behind us. This does not appear to be on Boeing's property. We're working to figure out exactly what is on fire tonight here in SeaTac. Again, we're on 146th Street. We are north of the airport. This is not impacting flights or passengers tonight at all. That is what we know right now. We'll work to get more information and send it back to you. Okay, Madison, keep us updated. Thank you.